Good morning. So anyway, here's my latest project. The house uh, next to me burnt down, so now the property's tore down. I feel like my backyard is kind of exposed. And this old chain link was so torn up, bushes growing in it. So I'm redoing this fence. I've already got rid of all these cross ties and all this crap. Started digging it out. Gonna have to make it dog proof. This was a lot of work. All these blocks were in it. So I got a little wood over here. Pressure treated. And I'm gonna use these brackets. Which I'll get into more detail later. They bolt onto the poles and put a piece of wood on it. Alright, so I got the first top rail up. That's what I'll be attaching the pickets to. I'm going to put one more rail around the middle using these brackets. I'll say more about them in a little bit. If you're doing these, you can zip tie on these brackets and that holds the wood for you while you put the other end up if you're by yourself. Right, show what I got so far. I got all the strips up. All the way down. I decided that it was a little bit too wide a span between the metal pole and the metal pole. I was worried it would sag. So I went back and put all the wood posts up. Dug them out. Just to get it a little added support later. I'll show you these clamps and how they work. Step through here. Alright, so this is basically one of the clamps here. When I was putting them up, I used a zip tie to hold it on one end while I put it down another hole there. Guess you gotta do it by yourself. That's an easy way to do it. And they work pretty good. And the top ones, I attached them to this little top post because I figured it'd be sitting on top that way. So we got that. All the wood posts once these cement take. I'll attach these boards to these posts. So that's basically it. All I like is putting the, the pickets in. All right, so we're skipping ahead to the finished product. This is it. It actually turned out better than I thought. Now one thing I'll probably go back and do, I'll probably cut this down. It's just sticking up about two foot, so I might go back cut about maybe a foot off of it and then get the little rail topper that goes along the top of this kind of a u-channel so that's just a little bit too anyway it came out pretty good another shot of the bracket there give you an idea Also, I went along the bottom and just kind of, I just basically dumped, mixed some concrete up. I just wanted something for when I get another dog, when they start trying to climb out or dig out, they'll hit this little concrete mark. That was more work than the fence, mixing those bags of concrete. It came out okay. There's my old fence right there, big old wad. You can see all the crap I had to clear out of it. 
All these brush and everything. Here's a little shot from the outside. The beauty side, they call it. Of course, this is the house next door that burnt down that kind of started all of this. Uh, final estimate, I think, is right around $600. That's for wood, tools, hardware, concrete. It's isn't too bad. I know a fence company would have charged me a whole lot more. All right. Thanks for watching.